So I'm out in the shed painting these for the last time. I've got one side to do and these are the side bits for the veranda which we're trying to get up at the moment. So pretty excited to have this back up. Sorry about the rattly noises because I'm in the old shed. And if you've followed us from the beginning, you would know that we had a family of possums that lived in this shed. So we had mama possum, she had two babies and we'd come out and give her food and that. And then slowly over probably a month or so, all the possums disappeared. We've been talking about it for a while and saying like, I don't know what's going on because all the possums are gone. And then we were here the other day and an old lady, and I use the term loosely, who lives in the town, uh, stopped and she said, oh, I need some help. Um, my plumbing's blocked. Do you know a local plumber? And we're like, no, but you know, try this place, this place or this place. And then she got chatting to us about, you know, the work we're doing. She's like, everyone in the town's watching you guys fix this up. It's awesome, blah, 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 blah. And then she said, oh, you haven't got any of those pesky possums, have you? And I'm like, not at the moment, no. And she said, oh, well, she goes, I've actually gone and dumped 28 of them so far this year. I've got them and I've gone driven 15 kilometres out of town and dumped them so that they can't find their way back. And I seen red. Albie looked at me and he's like, oh no, but I kept my mouth shut. I was calm. And I said to her, I think I've got the number for a guy that can help you out at home. So when I get home, I'll send you the number um, and he can come and help you unblock your toilet. That was a week ago. Hopefully she's wallowing in her own poop right now because there's no way I'm sending her the number. And I'm still so mad. I said to her, if you want to get rid of the possums, just dump them at our place. You can leave as many possums here as you like. I'm happy for all the possums to live here. And she was like, nah, I want the possums out of the town. So you know what? She can move out of the town because the possums are native and the possums don't do any harm. And so, yeah, I'm a little mad because all my uh, little pet possums have uh, disappeared out of the shed and now I know why. So, thought I'd give you all an update for the possum lovers amongst us. But for now, I better get stuck into painting these because uh, Albie wants these done so that we can get stuck into the veranda. So, I'll get to it. This is the last lot I have to paint for a while. So, Hopefully I can get these finished today and he can get them up tomorrow. So this is the last coat I need to do on this side and then when this dries, I'll flip it over and put three coats, because Albie insists on three, on the other side and then this will be ready to go. Okay, so I've got a job today in this freezing cold, horrible day up here, but it's got to be done. Behind this beam, there's a little gap and I need to point behind it. So the old beam that used to be here, we had um, pointing behind it. So now I've got to repoint behind it so that when we put the brander back up, water doesn't run down the wall. <laughs>
Okay guys, apologies for the wind because it's just a horrible day, but just to show you what I'm doing, I'm going along and putting pointing in behind this beam because if I show you here, there's a big gap. And when we put the iron on, if the water runs back behind it, it will dribble down the wall. So how the last one was done was they put the beam on and then they pointed out to beat the beam. So that is my job for the day. Then on top of this beam, Albie will put a C channel and then the iron will fit neatly into that. So I've got to get stuck into this and get this done so he can get his job done. That needs a new blade, I think. Hit too many nails with it, Maxi. Oh, you should just whack the clamp on it there where it is, the clamp's there on the ladder. Not yet. That's it, clamp her up tight. Cheers. Alright, let it go. Cheers. All right, so now I've got all the um, all the bolts in it set for one up this end here. Still got to get another bolt for there because I use that bolt down the other end. But all the posts are cut off now. Timbers are all bolted on, set for this end. Like I said, might go whack some C channel on now. Tomorrow we start putting iron on.
See if we can get a bit of sea channel up tonight, people, before it gets dark. Sun's just on its way down, so looks like the moon's about to come out. Do you need a hand? You'll be right? All right. Oh, so cold now. Like you can feel it getting colder and colder. Ba, 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 ba. It's warm in here now. Don't cut my tape measure. Oh, I don't know how far you're going to shoot it. Let me get it up on its end so I can get it up to you. Yeah, I will. I just need to get it up over there, don't I? That's what I'm saying. Got it? Got enough for me to push it up to you. Now you got it? Do you want me to jump up on the ladder and help? Or oh, you got it? He's down a fair way. Need to lift it up. All right, let me jump on the ladder. That's better. Be careful. There, now it's in. But that bolt's still probably stopping it going all the way in. It's in there, hitting that channel though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's hitting the channel there, but not over there, because you'll probably have to take a little bit out of that bolt there to get it in properly. If you tilt it up a bit, we can probably get it under that bolt. Can you tilt it up a little bit? And then it should slide in under that bolt. Then now you can probably push it up more. It's hitting that sea channel though, isn't it? It is on this corner, but it'll be way off on that corner because it's obviously not square yet. You know what I mean? What are you thinking? Just going to have to trim these sheets. Won't be the end of the world, will it? Because they cut them all crap at the end anyway. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Or you're going to cut them down this end. Huh? You're going to cut them down this end. You got it? Yeah. Right. Yeah, I've got it now. I no longer have it. Got a good spot there in the sun, Missy May. It's an 
absolutely beautiful day here at Pinery today. The sun's shining for the first time in probably two weeks. There's not a cloud in the sky. It's a bit of a cold wind, but it's actually quite nice. And hopefully this roof's gone back up today. So fingers crossed it all goes well and we have the roof back on the veranda. So we're gonna get stuck in today and hopefully by the end of the day, we're at least halfway along, oi, we'd like to get oi. it finished. We'll see how we go. Okay, let's chuck this sheet back up then, shall we? You're gonna to have to get on the scaffold first. I'll go up on the scaffold. Yep. You can pass the sheet up to me. up against there because it can go in more yet. Yep. There you go, now we're up hard up against it. Are we hard up against it, you sure? Uh, mm -hmm. Push again. Now we are. Alright, where do you want me now? On that ladder. Oh, this wonky ladder. Lucky me, I get the wonky ladder. All right, now what do you want me to do? You can take a nick out where that bolt is. Yep, slot it towards you. Whoa, this ladder's as janky as. Huh? This ladder's as janky as. All right, just let it sit there for a second. Yeah, that's all it needs to do. And that bolt sits. Right, let me come back up. <laughs> you right now? Huh? Is it right now? Yeah. Don't look too bad now. Do you want me to come up there? Yep. So you can have a look at it? Yep. Right, hold it. I'm coming up. Does it need to come this way a little bit, I think? Or you reckon it's right? I'm just going by these timbers, so hopefully it's right. Yep. What are you doing there, babe? Webbing the sheet. I Why think do you do that? I think it's called webbing. So when the rain, the wind blows the rain up, the rain don't go up any further than that. Otherwise it back flows and leaks down the back. Yeah. Alright, lift her up. Up against it? Uh, no. It needs to be cut out more around that post. Yeah, near this bolt. You got it? Yep. Do you want to go down there for a minute? Yeah. To hold it? Uh. Wow. <laughs> Almost lost my head. You're right. Yeah, you could just like wait occasionally.
right, you jump up here. All right. You got it? Yep. Not gonna let go on me? No. Tap it down past that bolt. Did it go past it? Yep. It's underneath the bolt now. It's not touching the bolt. You need to push it back up. Or is it in? It's in. Well, that's in there. Yeah, all right, cool. Is it up against it there? Yep. It went under that, over that bolt, didn't it? No, it slid down when you drilled. I don't know. It slides down when I drill. I'm holding it as hard as I can. Yeah. Push it down under that bolt? It's under the bolt, babe. I've got my hand on it so I can't pop back up over it. Alright, it's under the bolt, it's in place. Happy with that? Yeah, it's gonna have to be, aren't I? Yep. Is it level along the front? Looks it. Let go? Yeah, let it go. Alright, I'm gonna grab the mortar, quickly mortar behind there, and if you want that painted, I'll grab the paint. Yep. And that first bit's done, ready for the second sheet to go on. Okay, guys, one sheet on. Hopefully it's all square and level. Hubby's going to stuff around working out the gutter. While he's doing that, I'm going to get up there and point behind that C channel. And that white pipe that you can see there, he wants to paint a red, he's decided. So I'm going to jump up and paint that. Well, what's the time? Huh? No, we'll see. Can only go as far as we can go, can't we?
shouldn't have sat down, Matt. Time to get back out. It's one here. Yeah, no, one here. Oh, one's on Too late now. Right, I'm gonna get up there with my tools and start pointing. Yep. I'm gonna cut wood tonight. Miss LJ, are you meant to be up there? Are you somewhere you're not meant to be? Missy, you don't have to join her. You're just going to ignore me, are you, LJ? And now Max has joined you. Now, how you got two beds up here?